So now we're going to start talking about another $5 word called polymorphism. And polymorphism, again, sounds daunting, but what it really means is now that we're sort of uh, making objects that are inherent of, another obje of other objects, what we're saying is I can treat this object, maybe a circle or maybe my student, you know, the thing we've been building, as something that it's inherited from say for example person or object technically that's what we're doing so what I'm able to do now is if I take a look at say for example the code that I've typed up so far what happens if I created a, another method called public static void display person now inside of this method instead of it return expecting a student I'm expecting a person. I'm expecting a person object. Oh, a person object. And inside there, that's when I'll do my system.out.println uh, p.getName. Now, a little pop quiz for you guys. If, say for example, I did something like this, display person s, What's going to happen? Because S is a student data type. P is a person data type. What's going to happen? Well, let's actually kind of see what happens. Let's compile this for a second. I get no error. All right, well, now we say get name. Get name. All of a sudden, well, which one are we going to be talking about? Are we talking about this get name? Or are we talking about this get name? Which one? Mm -hmm. All right, well, let's find out. Let's run that guy. Well, you'll see that even though I'm saying it's a person data type, it is still technically a student object. I know that's weird, but it basically is saying now I can sort of treat it like something on its hierarchy.